Hi, my third graders. This is Mrs. Barnett. Uh, today, we're going to look at and review what we've learned about multiplication. I know we spent a lot of time working on multiplication this year, and so we're going to spend some time going back and reviewing what we know about multiplication. So I bet you remember that multiplication is repeated addition, right? Because we talked about that when we think about groups of objects, we can think of it as repeated addition. So for example, if I said I had three groups of four, I could use repeated addition and think four plus four plus four. I would be adding four three times. Three groups of four is, does anybody know what three groups of four? So if I thought four, plus four, plus four. Oh yeah, I know, four plus four is eight, plus one more group of four, that makes 12. Yeah, repeated addition. So when I think about three groups of four, I could also think of that as three times four, right? So today, we're going to review some multiplication work with sixes, sevens, eights, and nines. And I know those can kind of be the tricky ones. So today, we're gonna look at repeated addition on a number line. So we've, we're going to use that strategy to help us. So in your packet, about halfway back, you'll find those math pages. The very first math page is going to look like this page that I have right here on my screen. So can you find that page? We're gonna look at this first one together. So the page says multiplication tables of six, seven, eight, and nine. Multiplication properties. Look at each number line. Write the multiplication fact. Okay, so let's look at number one. I'm noticing that this number line goes past the number 26. And I know that because I see this arrow is going past the 26. Can you see that? Okay, so some other things that I notice. We start at zero. So our number line is starting at zero. And I notice we're making some hops or some jumps, that repeated addition idea, right? So I'm wondering what we're counting by or how many are in each group. So if this is zero, this must be one, two, three. Okay, so we're talking about groups of three. I can't really tell how many groups of three there are, but I'm looking, can I count how many groups of three there are? Let's see, oh, and maybe I better double check. Are they always in groups of three? Let's look, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, I definitely think, I think that each group is a group of three. Now I need to find out how many groups of three there are. How could I do that? How could I find out how many groups of three there are? Oh yeah, I, I bet you are thinking how many hops or how many jumps are there for these groups of three? So could I count one group of three, two groups of three, three groups of three, four groups of three? Oh, could I keep counting? Yeah, okay. So here's your task for today. Today, for this particular problem, we know that we're looking for the number of groups. So the number of groups, that's gonna go right here in that first blank. How many groups are there? How many groups or how many jumps are there? And in that second box, it's, well, these are groups of what? Of how many? You said these are groups of three. So in this second box, we know we're looking at counting by three. 
groups of three. That last box, remember? That last box is where we're going to put the total or that good multiplication term, the product is going to go in that last box. Remember, the product is the total in a multiplication equation. So we know that we have groups of three. Your job is to find out how many groups of three and what is the product. Okay, I know you can do this. So for numbers one, two, three, and the rest of the page, you are going to complete that very same task. I know you're going to do a great job and show what you know. So I'm going to let you go for now so that you can get to work. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.